This Monday here at DHS was a day much like any other. Students roamed the halls in a mighty herd. There was business as usual in the office. And the school teachers taught on, blissfully unaware of the terror occurring in a tiny classroom on the third floor. When Miss Ailing came to school that day, she expected just another fun-filled day of teaching math to high school students. Little did she suspect that her classroom would be forcibly taken over by a gigantic inflatable man from Massachusetts. This morning in my Algebra 2 class, I was teaching solving with factoring process, and I was attacked by a giant eight-foot wall of Patriot. I was so distraught. My students were confused. He was teaching the wrong method. Everyone shut up. We're going to learn about binomials now. He knocked me down on the floor, dragged me out of the classroom. <laughs> there was just chaos. My students were screaming. They were, they were just so upset. I was so scared. His muscles were inside of me. He picked Miss Annie up and threw her across the room, and then she hit the wall. No one in the class got their homework done because they were too scared. Seeing the obvious threat to her students' education, Miss Ellen fought back against the oxygen filled monster. The forces of righteousness prevailed as she found a way to destroy the monster once and for all. Though the New England Patriots did indeed go to victory against the Panthers, it's obvious that this Patriot had no chance of victory against the force of Miss Ailey. She made her thoughts on the entire sordid affair very clear. It just bothered me so much. Nick Hale, DTV News.